Okay, okay this weather, seasonal affective disorder is majorly <laughs> is kicking, it kicking in. in for you. Yeah, yes. yes. it's been gray. This has been kind of like a March or April stretch where yes. it's kind of mild, mm. but it's just gray and dreary and drizzly. But you know what? You should run outside to the sky deck in the commercial break and get some sunshine because the sun is out. Okay, right okay. Now. Well, I think and I'll it's do that. the first time we've seen that. it in a little. Yeah, get a little vitamin D for one minute. Even one minute helps just a little bit. It's actually looking a whole lot better out there right now than it did earlier. Take a look. It looks like a whole different day. We've got blue skies, a few wispy clouds. The sun is shining. Much nicer weather out there. 50 degrees is the current temperature in the city with a light breeze from the northwest at 12 miles an hour. So Mother Nature giving us just a little break from the doom and gloom with some sun sunshine here this evening and more sunshine tomorrow morning. But then by tomorrow afternoon, that seasonal affective disorder may kick back in because more clouds will start to roll in. Tonight, we'll stay partly to mostly cloudy, 48 degrees by 7 o'clock. We'll eventually drop down through the 40s and eventually into the mid-30s overnight. But it does stay dry and it will be dry through at least tomorrow night. And that's when we're going to start to see another round of rain move in. Storm Scan 3 showing just a few showers left here on Storm Scan 3 mainly just off to the north and west. You still could pick up a shower if you're in Montgomery or Bucks County within the next hour, and maybe even a sprinkle mainly off over portions of Delaware if these survive over Maryland. But we get a little bit of a break in the action tomorrow before this next system works its way in. This is going to lift in tomorrow night as a warm front, and then the subsequent cold front will sweep through late Thursday. In between the warm front and the cold front, you know what that means, the warm sector of the storm, and we will warm up quite a bit Thursday and then knock it way down for Friday. 35 degrees will be the overnight low, mainly cloudy, breezy, winds out of the northwest 10 to 15. The soggy stretch continues. We dry out tonight, but by tomorrow night, once the sun goes down, more rain is on the way. May even start as a mix north and west. Thursday is damp and warm. Rain in the morning, especially to the north. Showers through the afternoon. Finally dry with sunshine throughout the day Friday. And look what we have here. We have our own Yuki Washington, who took my suggestion. And he's out on the sky deck soaking up the sun. I love it. Bring me some of that. <laughs> Future gas not showing much as we go through tonight and into tomorrow as far as visibility is concerned. The fog has lifted out. But if you need more sunshine than what he just got out on the sky deck, you know, just a minute of that vitamin D, wait until late in the week. You're going to need the coat, though. If you're going to step outside Friday, that is when the winter chill returns. A blast of cold from the north and west, and temperatures by Friday do not get above the 30s. Your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast, again, 60 on Thursday, then 25 degrees colder than that on Friday. Saturday, we barely get above freezing. Sunday into Monday, we warm up again back to the 50s as we get into next week. So tell us, do you feel, ah, you feel you, refreshed? I'm energized. Did you bring extra? I'm sorry, it's still out there. Sunshine I also saw us? the crepuscular clouds. Oh, remember that? I remember that. Rays. Nice. Crepuscular rays. Crepuscular yeah. rays. See, I said clouds. I thought yeah, I was saying right. so it's rays. Okay. That's a 25 cent word. I'm, I'm impressed. Got nice. it. <laughs> that was nice. I needed that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good stuff.